All right, hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is Gerald here, and we have on my on my on my right, <laughs> yep, Chris. How Blair. you guys doing? How you guys <laughs> doing? So, yeah. Um. So we will we will get started right in, in a short while, probably in about twenty seconds. Uh, while we wait for more people to join in, uh, let me just quickly share this with a few groups. Okay. All right, to get this going uh if you guys can hear us loud and clear please you know um comment let us below. yeah, comment, yeah let, us know. let us know you can hear us uh i'm guys if you know where i'm coming in i'm actually in uh in kale right now i we literally decided to do this live stream an hour ago i don't have my ipad <laughs> or my stylus with me so i'm ho literally holding the phone up <laughs> normally i put the ipad on the on the table and i have enough distance but normally the great this i'm holding the phone up uh anyway yeah you know what? Any anything to give value, guys. And and uh, Gerald thought noon uh, Malaysia time would be the ideal time to do this because people are on the lunch break. So here we are mm -hmm. making it happen. Yep, yep. So hold on a minute. Let me just share to one, two more videos, and we can. So Samantha is there. Hey, hey, hello, Chris and Gerald. Hello, Samantha. Uh, Yesterday, I found this most amazing Mongolian barbecue chicken wings. <laughs> I, I've Ooh. walked by it. I've walked by it a few times, and I've always been really tempted. But you know, it's on the street, so I'm like, oh, I don't, you know, how good could it be? And but it's always packed. I mean, every time I walk Ooh. by there, it's full of people. So I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give these thing a go. And they were, I mean, I'm a big chicken wing fan. I like buffalo wings, chicken wings. I, I have to say, this this was the best chicken wings I've ever had in my entire life. Period. There are four lingi wow. for one, but they're huge. I ate five of them, and I was just completely stuffed. And um, I don't know the name of that street, but if you walk from Jalan Alur up towards Changlat, you know the the bar area. Mm -hmm. Changkat, yeah, Changkat. Changkat, Changkat, Changkat. It's it's it, you know, it, it, it'll be on your left, um, not far. It's literally it's literally right in between Jalan Alur. When you walk past all those. You know, Annoying people harassing you to get a massage, all those massage, foot massage. But you walk by them, and literally there'll be a 7 Eleven right there on the corner, and then there's this mm -hmm. Mongolian barbecue place. If you walk up the street a little more, you, you get the ch uh, Chankat. And mm -hmm. I, I, man, these, oh, if you're in this area, I highly recommend you stop by there and try a couple of those. I mean, it was really, the menu is incredibly simple. They got chicken wings and then broccoli and, and fried rice. That's it. I mean, that's the only thing they serve. But I asked for a menu, and they said, we got three things, and so it was really, really good. I mean, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna go back there a lot, actually. Ooh, I, I mean, Amy and I, we love chicken wings as well. So I am definitely gonna try it. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. All right, so um, shall we get started? Shall we get started? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so I've seen more people joining in. So basically, right? Um, short and sweet. We're gonna keep this Facebook live short and sweet. Uh, before we get started, just two quick announcements, right? This Friday, 2nd of August, 5 p.m., uh, Chris and I and Amy will be hosting, all right? Uh, literally, I, I think the first ever e-commerce chill and hangout session. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll be at Three Stooges uh, in Jaya 1, Pataling Jaya in Selangor. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we'll be there a few hours just to hang out, just to chill, have some drinks. Um, those of you who don't have liquor, you can have juice, whatever, right? So, you know, the, the goal here is to, you know, mix around with like-minded people to, you know, this this is your chance to pick our brains, you know, uh, and to, and it's free. It's free for you to join in. That's right. Right. Um, and you want to add anything, Chris? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just something that I've done in the past. Um, in, in where you guys know, I, I'm American by living in Japan. We have... Um, a regular meetup, and we charge, I mean, for the meetup, a very small amount. I mean, because we sometimes, you know, rent the room out or, or, or we'll, um, if it's a bar, we won't charge anything. But anyway, I mean, it's just a chance to met, network and meet people. And, and guys, at the very least, what you're going to get out of this is you're going to come out there motivated and, and, and felt like you're part of a community. And that's because as, as internet entrepreneurs, it can be incredibly lonely. I mean, seriously. Some, I mean, one of the reasons why I like to go out to coffee work, I, I can't sit at home. I see. I was really excited. I remember back in, in 2000 and, and the end of 2009 when I went from full time to full time. I'm sorry, from part time online to full time 2010. I was like, man, I could sit at home all day. And and after about two weeks of that, I was like, man, I'm just going stir 
shit crazy and lonely sitting home all day working. So <laughs> I, decided, I decided to, you know, just to start taking my laptop to different coffee shops all day and, and work. And then I started loving it, right? The freedom to go from work at this coffee shop, you know, go to the gym, go to lunch, go back to the coffee shop. And then it just was great, right? So, so it, it's really important what I've learned. And one why I always tend to advance is I like to net. It's great to build a community. Someone you can bounce ideas off of, right? Connect with is really, really important. So you're going to get an opportunity to, to meet local people who are here, who are in, in, in walking the same journey you are, whether you're just getting started or, been, or you've been in this for a long time. You're going to have a chance to connect them. That's huge, right? Plus, you're going to have a chance to, to talk to um, Gerald and I, who've had a lot, a lot of success and been in this game a long, long time. And, you know, guys, when I, when I start drinking at the bar and stuff and relaxing, I, I start revealing all sorts of stuff that, that, I, that I didn't intend to reveal. So, I mean, it's just a good chance to connect. I think you get a lot of value out of this. And, and, and thirdly, right, I mean, I know some people are on, on the fence of whether that you want to, to make the investment for October 24th. Uh, sorry, no, October, August. August, <laughs> August, yeah. August 24th and 25th event. And well, now is your chance to come, you know, connect with me and see if I'm the type of guy who you want to learn from, you know, at the event. And if, if not, that's fine. I mean, I, I cannot please and connect with everyone, right? But if you, get, if you get there and you like me, you think, wow, man, this guy's pretty cool. I, I, you know what? I can tell he's got a lot of value to offer. I will go ahead and tell you that. Then great, sign up. I mean, no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. All right. So anyway, let's, 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 let's dive in straight to the to the uh, details, right? So now I noticed one thing, right? Malaysians, all right? Many of them, they, they know about online business. They know about e-commerce, right? And they know that, hey, you know, it's possible to make money online. It's possible to, you know, build a successful online business. But most of them, they, they don't have the, lack of better word, they don't have the courage to, you know, get started, you know, to, to pass, mm -hmm. pass that that barrier this is what i realized you know as has been doing coaching in malaysia over the past five years and so uh probably can you share on from your perspective you know as someone who's living the laptop lifestyle literally traveling the whole traveling the whole world wearing simple t-shirt just living life right living life to the fullest can you share with uh those who you know want to get started you know probably mm -hmm. lack of confidence or they're not sure how to get started can you share how is it like, you know, living the laptop lifestyle? How has e-commerce or online business changed your life? Mm -hmm. uh, in, um, yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so the first thing is I want to, I just want to address the, the fear of getting started. Okay. This is a mindset issue to be honest with you. Okay. So, I mean, if you take a look at me, if you look at uh, Gerald, do, do we look like anything special? I mean, seriously. <laughs> We're just normal person. I mean, in, 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 in high school and university, I was a slightly above average student, right? You know, in, in, in the, in the, in the uh, it was America, we got the A. I don't know if you guys have in Malaysia, we got the A, B, C, yeah, D, F. I don't know if some census. I mean, I had like a GPA of like 3.4 in, in mm -hmm. no, sorry, 3.5 in high school and 3.1 in university, okay? Okay. Slightly above average, but nothing particularly special either, right? So I'm just a normal guy, right? And if I can make it, and Gerald can make it, right? There's absolutely no reason why you can't make it. So it's, it's about belief. And, and, and coming to the event and, and, and learning more and, and educating yourself will help you build that belief. Another thing that I also recommend, and, and, and whatever your native language is, okay? So I, I don't actually recommend you listen to motivational speakers um, in any language other than your native language. For example, okay, guys, I lived in Japan for 20 years. I speak Japanese fluently, but let's just face reality. I mean, when I hear Jap motivational talk in Japanese, it doesn't resonate with me on the subconscious yeah. level like it does if it's in English. So I like to listen to Les Brown. And, who, and, and, yeah. and guys, just listening to five, 10 minutes of Les Brown a day helps build my motivation and helps build my belief, okay? And even even I'm successful with this, and I still like to do that okay it's a good habit to get into so so find some sort of motivational speaker or whatever in your native language right right not not talking about business or business strategies someone who's talking about mindset and, and and just spend five to ten minutes listening to them daily you'll be amazed at the transformation that will happen over doing this for several months it's amazing your belief in yourself and your confidence will go through the roof okay so that's that's one thing what was the second part of your question? I'm sorry. 
um, like how has the online business changed oh. your life or your students' lives? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. How has it changed my life? Okay, that's like mm-hmm. what my experience. So, so literally, I mean, this is okay. Obviously, I do a lot of traveling. You guys know, I've been the past year I've been to Perth, I've been to Canada, I'm here in Malaysia right now, and I've been a couple other places. But a typical day for me, living in, in, in Japan, is I wake up and you know around eight o'clock. I actually just eat breakfast. And I do a couple of coaching calls. So I, I mean, nowadays I get involved in coaching, and I work for a couple hours. Then I go to the gym. Um, then I go to lunch, then I go back to the coffee shop, work for a couple hours, go back home around three or four in the afternoon, take a shower, and by six o'clock, I'm at the bar having some beers. And I can do that every single day. And I wear shorts and a t-shirt, except for in the winter when it's cold, and I wear wear jeans and shoes, right, and a jacket. Because in Japan, it's not like Malaysia here, it actually gets cold in Japan. Anyone who's in Japan, they're always shocked how cold it is in, in December, January, and in February. It really gets cold. I mean, it's full-on winter. Um, so, that's a short winter, but it's, it's a full-on winter. I mean, it's snowing and, and cold, cold. So, anyway, so, just, I mean, just imagine that, right? I'm my own boss. Okay. Mm-hmm. The, the only biggest issue that I have is getting lazy and not working enough sometimes. I sometimes look back at my day and say, shit, man, I didn't put enough effort into my business today. <laughs> I kind of pissed at myself. Right? I feel There's you. I feel you. <laughs> you, have that some, you have that problem sometimes, right? I do. Sometimes the day just my past, like, wow, man, I didn't put enough hours in. What am I doing? Look at that. I keep a list of stuff I want to achieve this week, and I'm like, well, I didn't. I'm not getting very far on that list here. So as I do every week, I keep a list of stuff. I, I'm, this week, I'm doing these particular action steps. So I go through and I tick them off. Right? And so the next day, if I if I'm, had one of those days, I didn't do that much. Next time, I'm like, okay, I really got to pump up and, and get these things done. So that's, that's one thing. I mean, I can tell you tons of stories about you know, people who've had successful and been able to quit their jobs. I, I, love, I love this one particular story um, because... Um, yeah, this person, these people approached me, and they, they actually wanted to, they had a, a dream of opening a photography-related business, okay? Yeah. So their business was to, op, you know, do wedding photographies. They were both, both hobby photographers. They love photography. And I didn't, know, I didn't know a lot about operating or running a photography business, but you need a lot of equipment. Yep. I mean, it's expensive to get started with a photography business. You need advertising dollars to get out your name out there. You need all sorts of other stuff. Okay. So anyway, these guys approached me. They were struggling, not having success. And they decided to take, actually, they, not only did they, they, they take, sign up my course and mastermind, but they actually took private coaching with me. Mm-hmm. And two, not, not quite, 18 months later, I mean, then they were making money consistently with their site, right? After, I think it was month two or three, they, they started from, from going to coaching, things started really rolling consistently. But they were able to sell their site for a big payout. In fact, not only were they able to get, get all the money that they needed to invest in the firm, and they're currently doing that firm, they've been doing that business now for over a year. Number two, they actually told me, Chris, we put a down payment on a house, which is way beyond our wildest dreams. Nice. But then they said, we have about 10000 left over, and we decided to take a vacation. So they went on like they went on like a two week vacation just traveling, right? And then they got back to work on the photography business, right? Because they and so just imagine making that kind of sellout to be able to to invest in a business, put a down payment on a house, and go on a, two, a nice two week vacation, right? I mean, would it be a high six figures or or some figures? Yeah, I mean, just, just to tease was, the, the audience, it was, it was high six figures. I don't want to go into full details. There you go. Of that. I'm not. There you go. So I mean, just just a, just a quickly uh, to to. Talk about this, right? So basically, um, the, the Chris has students, right, who learn from him private coaching, right? And they, they did so well that, you know, they, they make a lot of money. At the same time, they also build a, a very powerful brand and they sold off the company. They sold off the entire brand, everything, right? Uh, they exit for high six figures and it literally changed their lives. You know, they can pursue their passion, uh, do a down payment on a house. They even have extra money to go and traveling, right? So, that is how amazing e-commerce business can do for your life, you know, um, if you have the right person to guide you, of course. I mean, by the way, and, and, and I want to be completely transparent here, it's not just about my guidance, right? I, I can only guide you, but the reality is the action steps have to be taken on your end, right? Yeah, that's true. So it's a question of guidance and, and action on your end, 
right? So yeah. one cannot, co you can't have success without having both. Correct. That's true. That's true. So, all right, let's, let's go to the next one, right? So, um, you know, I'm sure many, many people are watching this. They're like, hey, you know, I, I want to quit my full-time job or, you know, I'm ha unhappy in my financial situation. Then if, if you are in this category, I highly suggest you to, you know, check out our um, upcoming uh, e-commerce chill and hangout if you're in, if you're in Malaysia, Selangor, so KL, anywhere at all, mm -hmm. right? Uh, come and meet up with us or check out our two-day private mastermind vet. All right. And so now for those, yeah, sorry, you want to add something? I mean, by the way, when it comes to the private mastermind, I mean, if you're, if you're currently in Vietnam or Indonesia or Singapore and, and, and those areas, right, surrounding areas, Thailand, for example, it's, it's a long way to come just for a three hour meetup. So I don't recommend you come on August 2nd, but for a two day full event, it's, it's totally worth it. It's a, it's a, it's a business deduction, right? You can write it off as a business expense. You know, you can combine it with a little vacation to KL. So I, I mean, Yes, you have to get on an airplane and fly. But to, I've, I've flown. When, I mean, one of the best decisions I ever made was I flew from um, Tokyo all the way to Orlando, Florida for an event. You know how long it is to fly from Tokyo to Orlando, Florida? It was 12 hours to San Francisco. I had the turn, had two and a half hour layover, right? Then I had to get on a fucking, excuse my language, another six hour flight from San Francisco to Orlando. I was really, no way. Anyway, got there. So the whole trip took me door to door about 25 hours, including all, getting to the wow. airport in advance and everything, and then going from Orlando. To, and that event was, was changed my life. Okay, so, so if you're sitting in Vietnam or you're sitting in Thailand or you're sitting in Singapore, you're telling me you can't get on a two-hour two flight or whatever, you know, maybe four or five-hour trip and come to KL. Total. I'm talking door to door. Like from the moment you leave to the moment you arrive at your hotel. I can tell you this, man. When it comes to hotel rooms, KL is one of the cheapest I've ever seen in my life. I mean, some of the prices are unbelievable. You can get a decent hotel, I mean a good quality hotel for $20 or $30 a night. I mean, it, I, go on booking.com. You'll be amazed. I mean, you can get a five-star hotel for $10 and $100 a night. It's like, what? Yep. It's, it's, insa it's insanity. Okay? And the Mandarin Oriental, was like, I saw the other day, it was like, like $110 a night. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. Mandarin Oriental is like a full-on five-star hotel. Yeah. Where, so, so I mean, I mean, so 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 there's there's no financial excuse not to make this trip. It it could totally change your life. It will, and and we will we will share more information about you know Q four about Christmas and all in a while in a while. Right, so stay tuned. So, which comes to the second part, right? So for those of you who's watching this and you are already doing e commerce, whether just just getting started, you know, just setting out your website or product research, Facebook ads, and you feel that hey, I'm I'm kind of stuck. You know, and, and you know, I, I tried, you know, drop shipping AliExpress. I've tried, I know, print on demand. I've tried this. I've tried, you know, personalized products. I've tried everything. But kind of like, you know, you're stuck. You can't get to your whatever it is, you know, four or five, six figures a month. All right. Um, Chris, what, what advice, probably the top two advice that you can give to, to this category of people? <laughs> okay. So I think one of the biggest stories, okay, so for, for, for example, okay, so let's just say the other day, this happened just yesterday, let me tell you the story, okay, someone approached me and they said, hey, Chris, I've got this, this is a person not in my, my course of investment group, I've got this store, it's doing about $10,000 a month in sales, um, the profitability is pretty good, it's about $2,500, uh, 3000 a month in sales, I'm sorry, in, in profit every single month. Um, we did something you're interested in. I want to sell it. I just wanted something else in my life. And, and would you, is this something that maybe one of your students wanted to, to buy? And so I asked him, so you, okay, what was, you know, what's the store? And he showed it to me and I looked at the, what, the website and it was a, it was a general store. Okay. Mm -hmm. A general store based on drop ship stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so there's no theme, there's no clear cut theme. And, and then also you know, it's all based on dropshipping. So it's the kind of thing where people are waiting three to four weeks to get their product from China, right? So, and, and, I, and I told them, I said, look, this store has no value whatsoever. All your traffic has come from Facebook ads, right? It's a general store with no, with no built-in like theme, like for example, around dog, around cat, around beer, or whatever. And your dropshipping all stuff from China. So, so there is no value in this website. I mean, yes, you can make money from that site, but, but, it's not something that's an asset that's sellable. 
Okay, and he was quite shocked by that. And I refused, even though he offered me twenty percent commission to help facilitate the sale. I just said, no, I'm not going to introduce the group. I'm not going to introduce something that doesn't have true value to my group. So anyway, so back back to what I'm, this 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 brings me back to, to a point. And you're saying, well, how does what does that have to do with the question about how I'm struggling? Well, well, one of the key elements that I teach and I and I emphasize my students is pick one niche. Mm -hmm. Become a master at it. Build a brand in that niche. Truly get to know that. And, and if you're doing that and you're focused on one niche, every single product launch is a learning opportunity. Whereas if you have a general store, you're basically, you're, you're, you, you know what you're doing with the general store? Because you don't know, say you hey, you're launching stuff in the, in the golf niche, there's the swimming niche, the grandma niche, the mom niche, and you go, you're putting on a blindfold and you're throwing darts at a board. That's exactly what you're doing. You're putting on a blindfold because you don't know nothing about any of these niches. You don't know enough of me. You're putting on a blindfold and you're just throwing darts at the board. And yeah, on an occasion, you're going to get lucky and you get some hits. This is exactly what's happening with this store, which is why he's making some money from it, right? But it's not long term, it's not sustainable. But the thing is, okay, so if you become a niche master, right, and you truly know your niche, not, it's not to say that you're, you won't go ups and downs. I have ups and downs in my business. But I know a lot about my, my niche, so I'm able to come up with new product ideas. Nothing, nothing whatsoever can change a business faster than one new awesome product idea. It just yeah. takes one. I mean, I know a guy last year on his website, he did a million dollars in sales at Christmas. Okay? One I'm talking product. about like... It, mm -hmm. And, and they were selling tons of products on their, yeah. from the site. People would go to their website and they would, they would buy other stuff. But he said, we focus on driving all of our traffic to one offer. Mm. And people came over to the website and bought and just bought like crazy, bought other stuff, right? So with paid advertising, the number one trick is to find a winning product. And, and, the things, and, it, and to find a winning product a new one and a new one and a new one and a new one. You need to be a niche master. So this is why a general store, it's really hard to have a sustainable because you don't know enough about that. You don't know about that, about each niche that you're on. And but I, I want to, I want to bring up something else. Okay. i you may sound like what I said at the beginning, being negative towards paid ads. I, in fact, I'm not negative. Towards that. I, I love paid advertising. Paid advertising helps you make money quick. It helps you scale the huge numbers quick. But, now I don't recommend this in the beginning. I think you should have at least six months into a store, truly, you know, have products that are selling, have the building customer list or whatever. So, but after you've got a store running for six or seven months, you should start investing in SEO. It's really, really important to start bringing some organic traffic, right? Because that brings over the long-term value of your business, right? That, that increases the business, right? The thing about paid ads, the only downside about paid ads is, yes, you can scale fast. But the moment you turn them off, the traffic stops. With SEO, you own the real estate, right? Well, you don't own it, but you can get downgraded. But the re you, you own that you 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 having that real estate for a long time, okay? So, so yes, to build a long term brand, you want to build organic traffic as well. But that's a different story. So, I didn't want anyone to think that that I was being negative on paid ads. In fact, I love paid ads, and I, and I you'll if you join my course, Mastermind, at some point, you will see that I have tons of information on paid ads. That's true. <laughs> All right, all right. So, very, you know, amazing uh, advice. Now, here's the thing, right? Um, so, the title of this uh, this Facebook Live is "How to Crush Q4 with E-commerce." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mm -hmm. put that as the title. Um, so, obviously, we're gonna cover very, very in depth during our two day mastermind. You know, probably um, Chris, two things, right? Can you share maybe some results of your students in the past mm -hmm. in Q4 Christmas? Mm -hmm. And also, maybe just a little, some tips on how, you know, whoever's watching this video, they're like, hey, you know, I want to know more about how to crush Q4 during mm -hmm. Christmas. Maybe you can share one or two tips. Okay. Okay. All yeah. right. So, let, let, me, let me just share. Okay. First of all, let me tell you some results. Guys. I mean, I've had students for that, but last year we had a, we had a couple of students who did $180,000 in sales um, within in. It's in two weeks of in December, the first two weeks of December. Um, another guy, I mean, you saw the screenshot. This is insane. Um, this is, I got to say, this is extremely, my, my lawyer, actually, I posted that, and my lawyer said, oh, you better 
say that's extreme <laughs> results. <laughs> but I just want to say this because it's, it, it's 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 uh well no you know it's possible right and it's he's he's got it's good advice. One the example I'm about to give you is extreme, but it just I'm I'm doing this to show you the the, the what's possible. possible in in in, in extreme cases right. This is not the norm, but. Anyway, even if you don't reach this extreme, you can do very, very well. But anyway, this particular person did $200,000 in sales in one weekend. Nice. Black Friday weekend. $73,000 one day and $130,000 the next day, okay? At, at, 20, at 20 some percent profit rate. So literally, they made $50,000 profit in a weekend, okay? Nice. All right. So <laughs> if, if they can do that in one weekend, there's absolutely no reason why you can't do that. And people have done that in, throughout the course of the, of the entire uh, uh, Q4. There are pe- people who, who my coaches, who've, who've made $100,000 profit. I'm talking about the whole Q4, October, November, December. It's, it's, it's realistic and it's possible. Okay? And the reason being is, okay, it, 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 okay, so yes, it's partly the methods and training that I do. In fact, that's a big part of it. But it's not just that. It's, it's also the market. Okay? 50% of retail sales happen during October, November, and December. Okay, 50% of global sales, right? Because Christmas, at least in Europe and in, in America, it's Canada and Australia, it's huge, right? And even where I live in Japan, right, Christmas is not seen as a family holiday, but it's seen as a lover's holiday. So every, every couple goes out and buys presents for their boyfriend or girlfriend. No, seriously, it's like, and they got the dinner. It's a requirement, right? So... I mean, so even though, you know, the, Japan is not, like, celebrating Christmas as a, as a, as a, as a like, a family holiday, it's still a uh, still, still celebrated event because it's become such an international thing. What about Malaysia? Do people celebrate Christmas here? Oh, we do. We do. There are a lot okay. of Christians, millions of Christians in Malaysia. <laughs> okay. So there's a lot of shopping done at this time. And so, so... A lot. So what, what, what this event is going to offer you is, is a way to leverage the timing with the right knowledge. What, what you're going to get out of the event is, is I, I'm, my goal is to give you enough information at the event so you can walk away and get started and, 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 and be in a perfect position, right? Because you'll have this event. We picked the end of August on purpose. You got a full month to ramp up and the beginning of q4 the, the first week or two of q4 is not so great right the, the big bonanza starts the third week of october okay mm-hmm. the first two weeks yeah things start to pick up but it's not this huge buying frenzy the big buying frenzy starts the third week of october so you will have a good four to six weeks to ramp up get your prepared and and for the people who buy the vip thing not mm-hmm. only am i going to 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 look at your websites and help you analyze your, if you can't have one, if you don't have one, no problem. But I'm going to actually show you specific products that I know for a fact sell well at Christmas. And I'm also going to show you products that we have sold well at Christmas. I mean, literally, you all you, now we just talked about all you need is one, right? I'm going to hand some ideas to you on a silver platter yeah. for the VIPs at the event. There you go. I mean, just just one, literally all you need. I've seen I've seen so many times, right? Uh, and we have always experienced it as well. Even even my students, like one product, like literally change everything um, in the entire business. I mean, you can be doing okay for the past many many months, but if you have one really good winning product, that itself will literally. You could be losing money and struggling for months. If you come up with one good product, it changes your life. And I know that finds sometimes hard to believe. But for example, okay, in in, I've had a product at Christmas, right? That we just launched right for Christmas to seventeen thousand units. That's right, seventeen thousand units in the month of November. Wow, insane. <laughs> okay, so I mean, one product can change everything. It, it truly can. You got to believe that. And, and that's, that, that's, the, that's the one thing, actually. You know what I always say to, my, to people who are struggling, right, in my group or in, in the coaching? Because not everyone comes in and successful immediately. And if I, if I, if I claim that, I'm a liar because that's not the mm-hmm. way it works. Some people struggle. It takes time to learn. And, 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 and they, they got to you know, make tweaks and changes. But I always remind them at any given point, it doesn't matter 
what has happened up to this point? You could have made zero sales. You are always, and you always will be, one product away. That's true. One product away. Just one product can make all the difference. Exactly. And, and, this, and that's just, I mean, we have been in the online business for so many years, right? And, and, like, and I was just kind of like looking on a bird's eye view on an e-com business. Like, like, it's crazy. Like, just one product, right, has changed so many people's lives. I'm talking about financially, right? And, yeah. they, and, and they just get so many sales and they just, from being struggling, broke, and suddenly like, holy crap, I got so much money. <laughs> okay. Let, let's think about this. Let's put this in perspective, right? You guys know, um, actually, Apple, Apple launched on, based on the Macintosh, and they grew to a huge company. But then mm -hmm. Apple struggled for years. I mean, they were, you guys, if you go back and read this up. You'd be shocked. Mac, Apple was on the brink of bankruptcy. Mm. It was the iPhone that changed everything. Ah. The iPhone changed everything. That was that was the winning product for them. <laughs> yeah, and and now they they're apparently the number one cash risk company in the world. Yep, yep. Super rich. <laughs> yeah. So guys, seriously, I mean, it, it, and I know a lot of people who have not had success in this game business. They they truly, I've had a lot of people say, oh, that's BS. I don't buy that. But guys, look around. Look around at these companies, right? It's all about one product. They're, they're driving one product, right? You just need one great idea. There you go, there you go. All right, so, um, hey, if you guys want to, you know, want to build successful e-commerce business, you know, I'm talking about, not talking about just, you know, a few hundred dollars and all, I'm talking about six, seven figures online, do comment below, right? Say, yes, I want, right? <laughs> um, but um, having said that, um, just a quick recap, right? Reminder, this Friday, 2nd of August, 5 p.m., we'll be mm -hmm. doing, uh, we'll be hosting uh, a hangout um, at Three Stooges um, in Jaya One, Pataling Jaya Selango. It's, it's a mm -hmm. nice pub bar restaurant, all right? Um, and Chris, Chris will be there, I'll be there, Amy will be there. Um, just a hangout, it's free for you to join, right? And we just want to you know, connect with like-minded people, network you know and uh hopefully you know give some value and to inspire you give you some tips you know help you get results um secondly will be our two-day mastermind august 24th 25th right mm -hmm. um and this is like a very rare occasion event you know so happened that chris is you know coming to malaysia we like you know we let's do this all right and uh the first time we did was like just one day but this time yep. we want to do much much better two days mm. more content more value mm -hmm. and um you know we're well, confident that yeah right one day was just not enough i i was rushing <laughs> through a lot of things because my goal every any given event is is i want to give you enough information you guys can get started and so to do that i had the i was i mean remember the facebook section i was doing i i blitzed through what should have been yeah. about four or five hours of content, I <laughs> did it in like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. really hard to cover it properly. So we decided two days is the only way to go this time. Definitely, right. So, I mean, for just one small investment, you're right, going to invest in your business yourself. It's going to be totally worth it, all right? I mean, I, I, pay, I pay like $7,000 and fly 29, 29 hours all the way to California for, for a two-day wow. workshop. So, I mean, that, that shows commitment, right? Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. if you're really committed to, you know, to build a successful e-commerce business, to do well in this business, then, you know, the, the fee is just a very small fee, right? Yeah. You, you're going to spend that money anyway on, on food, on, on buying, you know, gadgets, whatever. Why not invest in yourself, mm -hmm. right? Knowledge. The, the most powerful currency today is it's knowledge, all right? Absolutely. Yeah. So, Chris, uh, I guess, you know, we're going to end uh, our Facebook Live now, but any, okay. any, any final words of wisdom, any advice, yeah, anything you yeah. want to share? I mean, here's, here's the thing I'm going to say for sure. If you show up at the event and you're there and you participate, you will not regret it. I know for a fact we had great feedback from the last people, the people we had come last time. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing you there and connecting with you. And if you have any doubts, 
Right? You know what? I, I, I get it, right? You're, you're sitting there, well, who are these guys? You know, I, I'm not <laughs> sure about these guys. You know, I, there's a lot of online gurus out there. Well, hey, come to the free meetup. There's no charge except for maybe you, the, the bar is going to require you buy some sort of drink. So you buy one. It's going to cost you one drink in a little bit of time. Come get to know us. Hey, you'll be able to network with like-minded people, and we'll see you there. That's it. All right. All right. So um, there are a few people who, who, who's tuning in. Uh, they are already going to the awesome. event. So it's awesome. awesome. See you there. So that's it for this video. Um, we probably do you know, a few more Facebook live sessions in a, in a coming few weeks. Yep. Um, let Absolutely. us know. Let us know. Yeah. Let us know what, what are the topics that you want us to cover, any specific questions. Let us know. Uh, we'll be more than happy to share. Uh, more more tips and, and advice with you. All right. Absolutely. More so, coming. Have, all right. Have a great day and, and enjoy Cheers. Malaysia, all right? <laughs> all right. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye bye.